I'm gonna go ahead and use our pry tool. Get in right behind the cap here. Gently pry away and remove your center cap. Using a 19 millimeter socket, go ahead, loosen and remove the lug nuts. Go ahead and grab your wheel and set it aside. On our brake caliper flex line, we're gonna go ahead and start by using an 11 millimeter socket and we're gonna loosen this bolt right here and then we're gonna snug it back up. It's loose, fluid coming out and we're just gonna snug that back up. Using our number 10 Allen key, we're gonna go ahead and loosen and remove our two slider pin bolts holding our caliper. I'm going to use a small pry bar to go ahead and pry the caliper loose and work this up and off. Once that's free, go ahead and remove your brake pads, set those aside. Next, what we want to do is we want to remove this bolt here. You are going to have brake fluid come out. So what you want to do is have a catch can underneath ready to catch that fluid. Using our number 11 socket, I'm going to go ahead and remove this bolt. I want to go ahead and remove the bolt. Make sure you remove the copper washer on this side here. Check the other side for a copper washer. Take your new bolt with a copper washer, feed it through one side. Take your other copper washer, feed that on. You want to go ahead and get that threaded on to your caliper. Go ahead and get that tightened down. Wipe down any residual brake fluid. Go ahead and take your brake pads, line those up, get these placed in. Line the caliper up and slide that into place. When installing this here, you want to make sure that your shims for your slider pins are pushed further out. That's going to allow this to slide into place. If you're having any type of resistance of this going on, check your sliders. They could be pushed too far in. If you push that in, you can see that it can cause some sort of interference. Just push those out on the top and bottom and work your caliper and pads on. Once you have the caliper in place, go ahead and install your slide pins. We did apply a light coat of anti-seize compound to the threads and the pin themselves. Get that bottom slider installed. Once we get these threaded in, we'll go ahead and snug those down. You 
I'm gonna make sure these are good and tight. Double check the bottom. Now on the back side of the caliper, we have our bleeder screw up here. Go ahead and pop off the rubber cap. Set that aside. And we're gonna use our 10 millimeter wrench. And we're going to loosen that. With our catch can underneath. We're gonna leave that open until we see some brake fluid start to come out. Now that we have a visual of fluid coming out, we want to go ahead and tighten this up. Let me give this a wipe down. We're going to install our cap. At this point here, you want to go, go ahead and install your wheel, pump up the brakes, open up the hood, and check your brake fluid, top off as necessary. Let's go ahead and install our wheel. We're going to get all of our lug nuts started by hand first. Once we get these on, we'll go ahead and snug them down. Ahead and torque these down to 95 foot pounds. Once you have your lug nuts torqued down, go ahead and install your center cap, lining up these little plastic stud ears with the nuts here. 